Hello guys and welcome to the Formula E Berlin qualifier races here on R Factor 2. In the Formula E Accelerate Championship guys, it is time for Tuesday Madness. It is time for three time 20 laps around the Berlin e -Prix. We have had no further preparation whatsoever. I've done a test in that afternoon in the middays break. I just returned home roughly an hour ago and well basically here we are now trying to get ourselves a grip in the car on the track no brake bias is changeable anymore so we're trying to drive this like a normal car because the sliding is just not working i'm afraid oops And we're trying to come close to the lap times that we need, which is something in the fours. It will be down to pure proper driving. Two times attack mode needs to be taken in the 20 lap races. And I'm quite not sure how to perform well in this car um, it feels different now obviously compared to the testings before but it is what it is it's the same for everyone kind of oh yes We're bouncing over the streets. On around the hairpin, looking good. Two and a half tenth of Yerne. Ah, final turn. I mean, still better than before. We're going to improve to a low 5. We can do a 104. We don't run this too wide, yes. Much better. Tech mode armed, that's working, that's great. Ah, uh, this time not so good around the hairpin, I'm afraid. Those are kind of the warm up laps without any importance whatsoever. Still important to get corners right though as you can see well not that bad that much of a time loss actually okay i need to start breaking earlier for this turn holy moly puts a seventh overall uh yeah with a slight improvement i think we can work it out yerne is looking good looking strong though We're having a 20 lap race. We're going to start that race from P5 on the inside. So that is looking good. And we'll see how that goes. Very important to do a test start. Yes, Laurie. Break bias is fixed now. Yeah, besides being crazy busy, obviously 
you still have that esteem and that uh, also the desire to, to perform yourself. And I can tell you, if I get 10th or whatever all the time, I'm like, this is not enough. This is not what I'm here for. But at the end of the day, I probably need to admit that I had a 24-hour race, a race GT challenge. I qualified on the weekend for this. So now they are setting the grid and the warm-up. So, just want to give us another five minutes. So this is warm up now, so we can go out again. Oh. Set up, the only thing that you can fix. Wait. Uh oh, Yerne is furious. Well, yeah, Arne, but he has a point. Ah, oh, this corner, though. Not sure if it's cold tires on the opening lap. But anyway, we try to get ourselves into the fours. Hey JT, hey Slippy. It is extremely difficult to drive for sure. Problem is indeed to survive the cold phase. But let's see, what is this lap 105? The car is in, in, indeed extremely 
tricky, difficult, sluggish to a certain extent as well. Surely no easy car. But it is what it is. And we need to, need to get it right. Everyone needs to get it right, actually. Oh dear, no more super sliding on the entry, indeed. I can see if... I don't think it changes anything. Yeah, the treaded tires are also. I mean, it's a it's a road course tire, right? Oh no, I believe if anything, yeah, then ABS just makes you locking up the front. Okay, uh, not having no ABS makes you locking up the front. That fixes it. That's going to be interesting to start this machine. Let's see if I can get another lap. Yeah, I think somewhere finishing... Fifth. Or sixth for the first race is the target, keeping the car in one piece, of course, which can easily be done by avoiding this wall. Oof. First lap cold tires is going to be horrendous. Um, also, my left knee needs to survive this somehow. I'm not injured, but I've had a lot of racing in the last five days, which means batteries are a bit empty. Funny talking about batteries of a human body while ra racing an electronic car, right? But I guess here we are in the electronic car. And I guess we're also good with a 0.8, oh, 0.7 even. Yes, short break, two minutes till the race. I will fix the overlay and quickly check again with the with the guys. Uh, no race update box. I could have had the RF2 timing today.
what have they done now? <clears throat> Just 12 people though. I'm almost a bit... Oh. Okay, I'm not worried anymore. <clears throat> uh, well, I'm not sure if they chickened out the rest. That the entire process has been a bit... <clears throat> Let me say interesting. Maybe that is part of the issue. Going slow enough into this here is the key. And it feels like that for a lot of corners actually. Just being slow enough. Wait, Retro, are, are you not qualified for one of these races too? <clears throat> anyway, I think we're going again. Or we're about to go, maybe. <clears throat> well, there comes a good luck. So I think here we go. Yes, here we go. Attention grid. So we're checking. Yes. Nothing we can set. We are ready to race. We pretend being ready to race. So let's see. Top six, top five is what we need. <clears throat> Here comes race one. Prepare. Oh dear, what happened? <clears throat> Dude, what's wrong with you? What a guy? Another touch. Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm no, not the fastest dude, 
but still. So we're building a nicely gap. Guess I'm trying that. Driving this thing now too defensive, just making sure not to plank it into the wall. Steadily gaining the pace. Over other people. Power. This is not Formula E though, because no saving of anything. Which is a bit of a shame, but okay. Guess we all take it. Unlucky Michi shouldn't do that.
I'm afraid not much faster I can do. Uh, roughly the gap that I have right now, 1.8, 1.7. But uh, I don't want to just risk it taking it unless I have more than two seconds. Which I could have eventually if I stop locking up into this corner. Now I have it though. Yeah, there's a small bit of tire wear I guess. At least my tires are not uh, like the, the brake performance isn't 100% the same anymore. Thank you so much for the follow and the subscription, much appreciated. So attack modes are taken. Get the car of ahead of us. Yep, still two seconds. The car behind. Yeah, I just need to start braking it a bit earlier for some corners. To roll in nicer into the turn, carry a bit more speed then. The two seconds cap. Car, turn, please. And yeah, that looks much better. So 1.6 seconds gap. Ah, uh, this turn, I F it up so often, so badly then. So I'm starting to struggle now a bit. Can't we open the gap this time? I mean, it's so easy set and done, just not fucking up this turn. But it's literally what is required. Everything else can then be fixed. Like this. This is great, this is what we need.
2.9 seconds. Shit. Turn, please. So attack mode is ended. I can't believe it. How often do I now need to outbreak myself into this turn? Like I'm giving away extremely much time. Fucking lack of practice, Michi. Every time. Bad accuracy in the corners. Ay, 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 ay. Like, really? Much better than before. Keep it up. Five to go. Has Luna already taken both of his attack modes? I'm still having one left. I simply have no no front end. In these situations. 
and good luck to me fixing it. This exit again is so bad. Seven tenth gap. Ooh, come on, come on. Ah, Mitchy. Yeah, like this, you're giving it full up. Right? Yeah, and that is the position most likely lost. One point seven cap. So we need to be perfect on the attack mode. If First good exit here. That was the only exit that we needed as well. These races are not gonna get easier, they're just gonna get different. Yes, very great, very good. It is a P4. Amazing. When did my attack mode run out, by the way? Still going. Might as well be. So I wasted the lap, but I took it. Or the race before.
Very good points for us. Very nice points for Yerne as well. Unlucky for Dennis P7. It wasn't me that killed him. Not sure what happened there. Lap 1. So I guess we need to do a short briefing with the team. Unless we straight need to jump oops, into the next race. Box box. So quickly having a look at the schedule. I jump to my email for that. Uh, emails. I forgot to copy the copy past that the, the things. Yes, but it was race one. On to the next one. Yeah, I think here we are correct. Bear with me, guys. Right, uh, oh yeah, so we're about to hit quali in four minutes. Qualifying in the four minutes. Yerne is here, that is great. Uh, yeah, well, it is what it is. Uh, we need to swap the 
this quartz, of course. Ah, oh, this is a bit of a mess. Server one. Yes, great, amazing. Oh, no Colin Spork? Where was Colin? Turn, 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 come on, yes. How often do I go deep into this turn? It's ridiculous. But it was a kind of good lap. 104.9 that should not get us at the very end of the grid. This driving will thus get us to the end of the grid. Oh no, I'm so sorry. You've missed the lap. Yeah, so you, you see how much I'm focused on, on the drive. Very much. So, nine people. Nine, 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 nine. This is so not right. I need to get a top four, a top five, and that split for sure. Ah, Fiducci. He will be quack. The quack Italian. I guess a couple of guys still to join. But getting the lap done when it counts again is going to be the crucial thing. Becoming a yoke, you say? Well, we are looking. Carry enough speed into one and then be slow enough here at three. That is the key. And then not miss the brakes for this one. So the server is now getting a bit more crowded. Papa Carol.
in the house. Understood. We are looking. One time lap, no finishing hot lap. Ah, yes, copy. Well, let's see how they set the server. Biducci.5, what the guy. Bob Rue, good job, very nice, we will be having a good chance, 10 seconds, till we move the session. So guys, let's see, qualifying is going to be important of course. So here we are, qualifying is on, break is set, straight out we go. If someone crashes and there is artificial damage, we're dead. This is a no no. This is not what we need. Where are my tires? Bono! What have you done to them? Probably not enough. Okay. 
eight. Bit too early at the apex. Other than that, is a solid lap. It's okay. It's a high four. I assume. Almost. Almost. Oof. Top six, though. Oh, my God. Michi Magic. Not sure where I've thrown the pole. <laughs> How can I even speak about throwing the pole? Crazy. Sitting third, unexpected. A race is long. I can easily afford the fifth or sixth place, though. But, uh, like, Yane will be faster. He is. I don't know, maybe it now has clicked with the first race that I now finally know how to, how to deal with this. But, uh, yeah, we will see how it goes. Oi. Oh. So guys, if you appreciate the Formula E stuff, if you appreciate the stream, please appreciate it with a like on the video on YouTube, with a follow on Twitch and a subscription on the YouTube channel, please. That would be massively, massively appreciated. Another 20 lap race coming up. Um, I'm pretty pre-made on the, on, on the strategy this time. Um, yeah, let's see how this goes. It is a damn strong split though, like the people in here know how to do this, they really know. That is going to be interesting for sure. Let's see what happens though. Seems like we go into the warm up here. One minute to race. Ah, uh, so powerful with cold tires though, holy moly.
10 seconds until minions spawn. Okay, so we spawn on the grid soon. Best of luck to everyone, and you guys hopefully enjoy. Race 2 is coming up. And we're trying to do it good. Checking the setup. Checking it again. All about reaction time here. Nice, I got damage. What a guy. Ah, uh, I choked. Okay, we can stop our breaking ourselves. That would be just great. Then can we also can be good, and we also can be fast. What is Fiducci doing in that hairpin? Is he just going straight?
that's a very good learning that we do. Oh, that's not how it's done. Stop it. Much better. That's what your name meant then. Trying though. Yeah, Chen Marco is quack. Probably knows what to do in the car. So I think I've reached the point where the front tires are just giving that little bit up. Again, everything is good. What was the gap before? I haven't quite looked at it. But probably is something like 2.4, put 2.3. Those shenanigans are happening there at the back. Oh, 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 oh. Turn. Could also now take an attack mode. Could also well as well just wait. Ah, come on. Better we take one. Taken is taken.
Ah, jetzt hatten die am Strucklinge der Herpin. I did it two or three times absolutely perfect there, but now I can't replicate it somehow. Is this first sector was a solid one? Making some gap again. Yeah, this is it. This is the style you take the corner. They take the tech mode all together again. Time for me to take it too. Beautiful. Perfect hit. Tech mode active. Ah, too early on the turn. -in. My last was a 5-6, this is then a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, roughly a second and a half to be safe.
Honestly, that way, with a fixed brake bias, the car isn't too bad to drive after all. Admittedly, you can't e-sport it around the hairpin. It drives like a car now. I wonder how it is with the um, with the saving that we need to do on Saturday. mode is ended. Five to go after this one. Fiducci, five seconds away. Don't be intimidated. That is what Yanni could do as well. Rasmussen as well. Siggy as well. All the other dudes. So don't get excited about that second place. That we might as well sit in right now. I mean, this is an interesting way to take the hairpin, but it's probably not slow. I guess the brake bias is 44% on the front. But I tell you, after this evening, I need a... I would actually need a brake. On the left foot for sure. Because we're 45 kilograms all the fucking way in the braking zones. So Gillison is on attack mode. I try to keep the, the pressure on myself high. Because as much as I just need to Keep it out of this wall. As much it is a pace comparison to the cars behind. Which means Michi stop fucking it up please. It's about time. 6.2 is too slow. Losing the three consecutive tenth. Very good, very nice. to go. The last time a bit of a time gain. Very glad I didn't completely choke the first lap against Herzing. If he got by I would have been doomed. Beautiful. I mean, still slower than Fiducci. I'm not sure how he does it. So consistent. I 
And then sitting second is a completely unexpected. Result as well. But I take it. I take it. I take it. Pepper pray on my internet and everything that nothing goes loose. More lap. Yes, <laughs> I, that is the ticket almost booked for Saturday. Top 22 with a P5 and a P2, P4 and a P2. Should be good, should be awesome. Should be great. Oh no, Yerne got overtaken by Carol in the end. But yeah. It's just about making it to the top 22. What does Yerne? A P2 and a P6. It should be good. There is not... I mean, there is chances, but at the same time... Oh, no. Not much chances that we drop out out of that top 22 with those two runs. Or the guy. Box box. And then we check where our final server is. Oh, eight. Second, yeah, I think starting on the outside lane is a big no no. I mean, nothing you probably can do, but mm. so uh, announcements, the spreadsheet, we are server C, I think, yes, yeah. Oh. And in that split, I'm not going to be higher than P5. Nice drive, GG. Very well done. Nice pace. So, fun. Oh, did I fork it up? No, oh, server C for the third race. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're very good.
the last race. Here we go. With the U. Right, I'm I'm I, I need to admit I'm going to be a bit happy when this is done. Because left foot doesn't appreciate it at all. And again, like Rasmussen will beat us, Otaviani strong. We need more Michi magic. Cannot be seen elsewise. I'm in the wrong server here. Here I need to go to. Okay. I need to go for a walk later on. Ah, shit, a bonked. Played with the rotation. Too late on the fucking corner. Ah, Mitchy, you were so bad sometimes. A low five. Comes Rasmussen with the point seven. Oops. Yeah, don't don't look at the chat and drive.
could as well also set who and where to. Not that I think it matters for me, but just things, you know. I'm choking again here. Can't be right. Too long on the brakes. Uh. Understood. Opru, likewise, have a good one. There's a fucking fly ahead of my fucking... Excuse me. No language. There's still a stupid fly, though. Going around. My monitor somewhere. So, could I stop choking? Fast left hander. Yes. Look at the potential in the lap time. And then you also do a good hairpin. And then you choke on the final hairpin as well. Uh, you don't choke. Then you can improve with a 0 0.6, 0 0.7. And that is probably the maximum that I can do. 0 0.7 again. That was a decent lap. Oh dear. So easy to do a bong with the wall though. So all that we need is a P6-ish or so. 
30 seconds until minions spawn. Copy. Yeah, this is too late. So guys, final race, training laps, here we go again. That Rasmussen lap though, just mental. Right, here we go. Oof. Turn, turn, turn. Much under the F. Oh, that is a big moment. Yeah. 104.8 at max at this stage. Four point nine. Yeah, almost predicted. Has Ottaviani the eye still coming? P7. That's crazy. That split is considerably strong though. I mean, I choked a little bit, but honestly, starting P7 is better than starting P6. Um, yeah, let's see. Turn 1 is going to be horrendous, though. Much easier jumping into 2nd than rather jumping into 6th, but okay. Could be worse. It was a bit of a joke, like, 
I think we have 40 people, so literally like half of the grids are making it easy to the finals. Uh, which means no one of the... There, there's literally no chance that one of the quick guys is dropping out. In whatever fashion. Let's see, smart driving, and in the race we might be having a look. Content Voxel, thank you so much for your follow on Twitch. Appreciate it. Welcome to the Formula E Accelerate Championship. Hey, it's a drive through. Well, a final 20 lap dance. We are looking. Then we are done for today at least. Very good, very great. And I just found out I have failed to set back the... Yeah, of course. The minimum... Uh, horizontal stabilizer. Sorry about that. We're starting on the Robert line, which is great. So, let's have a look. This time we need to be smart, we need to be good. Yeah, they are going to go for it there. Oh, I'm three white somewhere. Ah, uh, this is... Ow, 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 ow. Oh, no. Yeah, this is... This is going to end super well. Guys, what the fuck? Seriously. Oh, so broken. But, I mean, okay, I mean, I've seen the names around me, so I'm not surprised. Like, being three wide in this area, and then 
The guy on the inside diving like crazy. This is not just Lime Rock Park shenanigans. I wonder though, like... I have not bad exits, eh? And Ottaviani is sideways literally all the time. Ah, I have additional drag. I just see it now. He goes faster than me on the straights. Got yeah, the cast toast. I mean, I probably can be happy that I'm still going, but I'm lacking, I'm lacking front downforce. Not that there is much downforce on the car, but on top of that, I have additional drag. Uh, fuck. Okay, take a chill pill and drive, Mitchy. Disgusting. I'm questioning myself whether I just want to be ASAP done with the attack mode. I think I want.
I have the feeling there's just not super much you can do in these cars. Especially not when you have a brake yourself. Stupidly like me. I still don't get rid of the feeling that I'm down on top speed like I don't know I'm especially down In front performance, that's for sure. But anyway, P7 should be enough. It's just, I look at the driving standards and I'm worried for Saturday, especially since on Saturday. We need to do controlled driving, kind of. So I'm not sure if Deval has even taken one of his attack modes yet. So we need to push. I know that Kurtz ahead of me. Need to, needs to take one, I think. Which would, would mean freebies for us. Yeah. Okay. I remain silent. Ah, oh, fuck Michi, what are you doing? What are you doing? You have been close enough to stay ahead of Otaviani if he goes for the dive. And now you're so far away again. You're so good. Okay. 
Yeah, too far back. No rotation. Ah, oh, damn it. I mean, close to no downforce on the front, or no downforce on the front at all. Is obviously a difference. Good for us, I guess. So Otaviani got hit pretty hard there. But my t my car isn't in a perfectly fine shape either. Seven to go. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yes. And that's about it. Otaviani can now easily take his attack mode without being under threat of me, and I'm too slow anyway. The only thing that could happen now is we get closer to the Val, but like how? I have no precision, but I'm not quick enough anyway. Not sure how often Otaviani was on a wall already. I just tap one again. 
and I'm too stupid to capitalize on it. What the hell? This car doesn't rotate. Ach, komm. Not that it would make a difference. It was a fucking feeling to know that with a non-broken car. But then Ottaviani's car obviously is broken too, but I'd appreciate my car to be broken in the rear so that it rotates. Because this doesn't rotate. And I can't get it to. So, front splitter broken is the worst thing that you can face on this car. Right, final lap. Nothing special. Alright, we gained a spot. Could have been two spots, but whatever. I was lucky, I, I nearly ran into the back of uh, Deval. So I think Deval has not taken to attack modes. So I'm not sure though if I missed one. Guess we will see in the in the finish zone whether he has taken or not. Anyway, guys, this takes us to the end. Three races, Berlin, three qualifying races. Top 22 shall be reached. Final confirmation with a social media post on that one. P2, P4, P6. It is what it is. Apparently, he has taken the second attack mode. Otherwise, he would have not been uh, able to finish the race. Yeah, it will be good enough result. Like if a P2, P4, P6 doesn't get you into a 
top 22 after all, then I'm not sure. I mean, you have the three or four people doing P1 all the time in their splits. Then you have a couple of guys doing P3 all the time in their splits. But the worst that can happen, like, if, if everyone is taking in their splits always P1 and P2 and P3 and P4, that is top 16. And then a P2, a P4. And that would even not work, you know. So... Yeah, so we, we're gonna look into the bulldozing for sure. Therefore, I'm happily changing the view. And we go into the bird view. For the race start. They give us enough time. So it's light out and the way we bulldoze. Blistering start, a little bit of a wiggle. So here we are sixth. So this is the first bonk. I mean first I bonk a bit into Ottaviani, I admit that. Oh no. We were four wide. Yeah, I mean how to survive that? What is that guy in the blue car doing? Yeah, unlucky they reset the session. But the guy in the blue car on the very inside line with the most understeering car in the world tries to put it. I don't know who it was. But that is that is crazy. I might as well be happy and lucky to sit in in the center of that tragedy instead of, of the outside. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this one. That's going to do it for tonight. I think we should be qualified. You will find out with a social media post later on uh, or tomorrow. Guys, thank you for your time. Hope you have enjoyed it. And uh, please, if you appreciate this, then please have a follow on Twitch and subscribers on the YouTube channel. Make this community grow and uh, come back for more sim racing streaming, guys. Have a good one, everyone. See you. Bye-bye.